In this video, we're going to look at how to connect the Tascam DR40X digital audio recorder to a shotgun unidirectional microphone. So just a quick note, unidirectional means that the sound is going to be picked up wherever the tip of the microphone is pointed. That's what unidirectional means. You're going to need one SDHC memory card, four AA batteries, one set of headphones with a standard 3.5 millimeter jack, and some sort of pick tool for the SD card slot. Okay, so to begin, you're going to remove the back plate of the Tascam recorder and you're going to insert your three AA batteries. The Tascam recorder is for the SDHC memory card slot. It's a little bit tricky to open, so I recommend using some type of a pick tool. I used the top of a pen for this. Just make sure, try not to damage it too much, but it is kind of tricky to get it open. So insert your SD card. Now we're going to assemble the shotgun microphone. So we're going to first put a battery inside by twisting the bottom until it opens up. We're going to insert our AA battery and then we're going to twist it back until it is closed and ready to go. Now we're going to put our windscreen on. The easiest way to do this is gently twist until it goes inside. If you try to force it in, it's, going to, it's not going to go in. So just do it gently. Next, we're going to attach our 25 foot XLR cable. So on these cables, one end has a six millimeter jack and the other end has an XLR jack. So we're going to attach the six millimeter jack into the recorder on channel one. And we're going to attach the XLR end on to the microphone. So you're going, to, you're going to see and feel the snap into the microphone, and then make sure you turn your microphone on. Next, we're going to turn the Tascam recorder on by holding the power button. Now, we're ready to test our input level. So we're going to put our headphones on, and we're going to plug them into the side of the Tascam recorder, where you see the microphone symbol. Now we're going to prepare the Tascam recorder to record audio with this external microphone. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure on the side it is switched to mic, so the middle option, and then we're going to go to recording mode. In the recording mode menu, we're going to make sure that the record mode is set to mono, and we're going to make sure that the source is set to EXTINL. So once the recording mode has been set, we're now going to test our input levels. So just make a few noises, do a few tests, and if you're getting audio, that's great. And if you're not getting audio, maybe it's because the either the microphone is not powered on, or perhaps the battery in the microphone is dead. So these might be two troubleshooting options. And if not, try to play around with the recording level on the side or on the, the volume level on the front of the Tascam recorder until you're starting to get sound. And remember that the sweet spot for audio recording is between negative 12 and negative 6, so aim for that range. Now let's look at how to properly disassemble the Tascam and shotgun microphone. So first, we're going to remove our headphones, place them somewhere safely. Then we're going to remove the six millimeter jack from the Tascam recorder. We're going to turn the recorder off by holding the power button until we see the goodbye message. Next, we're going to use our pick tool to gently open the SD card slot and remove our SD card. Then we're going to open up the back plate and remember to remove our batteries. So we'll take all three AA batteries out of the Tascam recorder. These ones are a little bit tricky, so again, you can use some sort of pick tool to get the last battery out of there because it's not uh, easy. Next, we're going to remove the XLR cable from the microphone by gently pressing on the metal, and we're going to make sure to turn the microphone off. To get the windscreen off, we're going to twist it gently and then we're going to twist the bottom to remove the battery from the microphone. And we're going to twist it back to make sure that it's placed again. We're going to place the microphone back into the kit. 
Now we're going to try to tie up these 25 foot cables. They're not always very easy to tie up, so just try to do your best and make sure to wrap it back up with that cable tie that was put in the kit for you. Try to do your best. They're 25 feet long, so I understand that they're not always easy to get back the way that they came. Place everything back in your kit and make sure it's all organized and the lid closes properly and it's ready to be returned. Thank you.